What is up, people? I promised uh, my opinion on the Fallout TV show, and uh, here it is. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> I'm tickled pink That things are rosy And skies are blue once again Let the bygones go bye-bye No more will I sigh or cry I'm tickled pink The moon is yellow War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, huh? You think? Then we'll be married in the month of May. The Fallout TV show. You know why you're here. You see the title. If you're the 800 people who watched my last vid, you've came here also for uh, my opinion after I promised that I'd watch it and uh, I'd give my thoughts. Now, I made two vids prior to this one. One, the first one, I was talking mad trash. I said it was going to be a, a terrible thing. It was a tragedy, or a coming tragedy. I thought the Fallout TV show was going to be another botched bullshit by Bethesda. And uh, you know, I said people who were going to watch it are stupid. It was for normies, not for serious actual Fallout fans. And uh, when I made my second vid saying I was going to watch it, I, I plan on being... Uh, respectful and nice. Uh, I was going to talk about, you know, I understood how uh, shit behind the stage works, all the uh, yada 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 bullshit. Uh, and what is my thoughts on the TV show? As someone who loves all kinds of Fallout, I love uh, 1 and 2. Uh, there are beautiful games. Uh, 3, uh, it's the, the founding cement structure of the future too, which is Fallout New Vegas and 4. You know, 4 has its issues, and Vegas, of course, it's a, a beautiful, perfect, wonderful game that's uh, built Fallout to what it is today at this moment. But um, my thoughts is uh, that, you know, um, a miracle. It's a fucking miracle. I straight up said in my uh, trash talk vid, the first one, that they either have to pull a miracle out their ass or it's going to be garbage. They pulled a miracle. They actually did their fucking homework. The factions were represented correctly. It's understandable how much they've changed. The fucking uh, uh, characters in it that are portrayed are done correctly. And it actually has that feel. There. there there's some issues with it. It's not perfect. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the whole shit for you, because that would be crazy fucking long. In this vid, I'm just going to give you the uh, intro to the important characters, uh, what's going on in the lore, and uh, give some final thoughts. You know, my uh, personal opinions of the show. Even more than uh, what I'm speaking on now. So, yeah. <gasps> the story of the Fallout TV show takes place ten years after Fallout 4 in California. California has turned into a complete fucking mess. Square one, right after when the bombs dropped. Yeah, it's not good. The NCR has completely dissolved after supposedly the Brotherhood of Steel had nuked Shady Sands. Without the corrupt government of the NCR, everything's dissolved. It's a fucking mess. Ooh, it's not good. But one safe spot is the trio of vaults. Vault 32, 33, and 31. Lucy, the main character of the show, lives in Vault 33. She is happy. A pretty good gal. It's her special day today in the safe place of 33. As she's about to get married. Her father, the overseer, is happy. Her brother, Norm, who is not like her, more quiet, but very good with a computer. It's, uh, it's all right. But a tragic event occurs where her father disappears, and she must now go out into the wasteland to search for him. Lucy is uh, pretty smart. Her points are up there in intellect. Uh, charisma is at the shit stall level, and all she has to her name is a fucking dart gun. Uh, luckily, she seems to know what she's doing. She's been trained well by the vault. And, uh, yes, we pretty much see her journey go about throughout the waste, trying to find her father. It's the same as most of the other games where it's involving a parent. 
be super big. So that's just you getting revenge. What in the goddamn? Now the story of Lucy is not the only one we are being shown. There are two other characters that we are introduced to that give us their part of the story. Maximus, who is from the Brotherhood of Steel, and the Ghoul, a terrifying bounty hunter who has pretty much been around forever. Maximus, who is from the Brotherhood of Steel, hopes to one day become a knight, the same people who helped save him from the uh, terrible accident that left him orphaned. He wants to be everything the Brotherhood of Steel says it is. But sadly, he is not really the best material for it. He's not as smart as many of the others out there. Uh, his friend, who he is very close with, is by far the best of the bunch. And he is eventually chosen to be a squire to a knight, who is being sent on a very important mission to hunt down a scientist who has a very rare piece of technology, an artifact. Filled with anger, Maximus lashes out on shit. He's pissed. But eventually a terrible accident occurs to his friend as his foot is shredded the fuck up. He is immediately pointed at and blamed and he is interrogated. With tears rolling down his face, he states that it is not him and eventually he is eventually uh, the, the replacement. I'm fucking stumbling here, but yeah, yeah, that's basically Maximus. And now he is the new squire to the knight and he is now sent on this mission to find this scientist. I think I did that right. The final character that is mainly in focus is the ghoul. The ghoul, or his real name, Cooper, was before the bombs dropped a man who had it all. He had a mansion, he had a beautiful wife, he had a daughter, he was happy. Even though he went through a lot of messed up shit through the war, he returned and had a wonderful career as a Hollywood actor. A very good one. But now he has seen every sort of terrible shit in the wasteland, and it has hardened him to be by far one of the most deadliest bounty hunters throughout the wastes. Even after the NCR dissolved, he is still feared and respected. In the show, he's pretty much uh, yeah, everything you'd expect. He's pretty much as dangerous as your last character you made in whatever Fallout you just played. Yeah. It's a... Uh, I mean, uh, out of the loop here, but yeah, he's a, he's a, the best character in the show, straight up. I'm not even lying. Uh, uh, I got to give a hand to the guy who played that character. Just fucking good job. Yeah, now that's the uh, best bit of info I can give you before you watch the show. Uh, the show is, like I said before, worth the watch. I dropped 15 bucks on Amazon Prime. I don't know if you're going to pirate it, whatever the fuck you want to do. Go for it. Just watch it. Uh, the thing is, it's officially canon for all of those who are wondering. Uh, they've confirmed it. It's all there. They even got backing and support. Fucking Kane himself, the founder of Fallout, even said that it's better than New Vegas. And uh, also reading here, uh, apparently Nate, you know, the main character, the guy you, the, the male character you play in Fallout 4 is apparently the bane of all Canadians, as, you know, he's laughing at the uh, dude getting shot in the first Fallout intro. Uh, big ups. That's based. Don't hate me. I love all people. But yeah, the, I don't know. That, that's uh, the best way I can give it to you. Is my thoughts on the show is that it's worth the watch. Please go check it out. Uh, it's good if you're a normie. It's good if you're a serious fan. Some people will still be adamant against it. They will still raise their fist in anger. But I can see that this has somehow come up positive for the series, and I'm just hoping that Bethesda, with all the uh, major lore that they've dropped in this show, because there's a lot of like crazy-ass shit for lore people, like myself. Like It goes off to... like I guess I'll just say it here. It goes off to even how the some of the bombs were dropped like i already you already know if you're deep in the lore that yeah it was china who dropped some of them but then you learn even more deep crazy shit it's crazy well yeah i think uh we can combine all of what i just said and call it a bit go watch it it's worth your time it's fun to just check it give your thoughts in the comments and uh, if you want 
for all those people who uh, I talked trash about in my first vid, uh, let me tell you something. Go type, well, one of you go type something in my comment section and uh, say, uh, I demand retribution. And if that gets to 100 likes, the comment, I'll uh, do uh, something to, you know, give you all satisfaction. There, I said it. Uh, yeah, we'll end it there. Good night.